Welcome to Grave Alone. I'm Anthony, and I get to unbox the Asus ROG Strix X570E Gaming Wi-Fi 2 motherboard. This motherboard is a friend of mine's motherboard that I get to actually build the computer for here. Um, it'll be very soon overall, but let's just take a look at this of what it is. This is one of the new, um, as you can see on the box, it has Wi-Fi 6E, it's X570, it's the passive one, um, cooled one, so there should be no fans on this, because that's what passive means. Um, this is one that Asus actually just came out with as well, and then you can see on the back side as well, you get the IO shield, the Wi-Fi, kind of goes through everything here, hopefully that's everything on there, so you can take a pause on that and look at it if you want. This is, this is Ryzen 5000 ready, and he did purchase a 5900, so there is that, and let's start opening it up, so, um, I actually haven't even cut the tape off of this, I guess I, sh I should have did that beforehand, and he will be putting a, this with a 5900X, as well as he hopes to get a graphics card here one of these days, but he'll use his current Vega card first, and then as a new one comes out, then he will get this, but he's going to be upgrading from uh, 1800X. So you open up the box. If you haven't had an ROG board before, this is pretty normal. It's a black box in there, and then they put the board with a Welcome to Republic of Gamers, and I don't... Let's see. One thing, when my friend brought the board over, because he he ordered it and then he brought it over here to my place, so he did say it's got some heft to it. Yep, considering the he has the Crosshair Hero Six right now, the X three seventy board. Excuse me. So this is just the Wi-Fi antenna. It says Asus Wi-Fi moving antenna. If it, oh, there it goes. It decided to focus. So that's all in there. So that's all that's in this box. Was that? But I am thankful that Tom let me hook this up and do it. I'm going to take out the board now before we get to the rest of the box. So. There's the motherboard still in the plastic, and let me just un let's look at the what's er everything else in the box, and then we will go to the board. So there's just the motherboard tray. You have on this side, you have manuals. Set this down for a second. So you got inside here, inside the manuals, you get. A CD with your drivers. I honestly don't know when the last time that was that I used that. Then you have this little card. So it just tells you a little bit about the ROG stuff as well. Then you have stickers if you care, and then the manual. So I put that all back in, and then I'll take out this other black little cardboard. And then in the bottom of the box, you have the important stuff, which is a couple of single-sided M.2 SSD 3M pads, a sensor that shows up, camera eventually says, hey, what's going on here? They put all four SATA cables in one piece of plastic. I think that's a good little use of it, a saving plastic. Then it looks like the little screw for the M.2 slot. And this is using their new what, Q latch. Then they also put in some zip ties. And then the last thing in the box is the Republic of Gamers 
keychain. So he has a keychain as well. So that's uh, that's pretty cool that they added that stuff in there. I think that pretty much is everything for the board. Let me just put a little bit of this stuff back in the box before I get to the motherboard here. That way I'm not creating too big of a mess. Probably already created too big of a mess here, but let's take out the board. So here we have it. It does look passively cooled, so that's good. I don't see any thing here. It does have a lot of little features on it. I'm just trying to see if, yep, it's got everything there. So here is the board. And you got your socket, you got your RAM. They did it seems like a pretty nice job here with the uh, VRM cooling as well. That's that's a little hefty. I do like the IO shield here as well. There's a whole bunch of when I build it, I'll take off the stickers or the, the protective plastic. Um, you do have your audio over here. You have an M.2 slot underneath here, and then one underneath there. So there's your two M.2 slots. You have eight SATA ports. You have, um, well, they even have M.2 fans down here. Your water pump, your chassis fan too. RGB headers. Um, you have your your front panel I.O., your speaker, your USB um, 3.2 3 Gen 1, USB 2. USB 2. I, I really like the um, the IO here. Well, not really IO. It's the diagnostics right here to be able to see what's actually going on with your computer if something is wrong. That's always very um, helpful. And then your front audio as well. You have three slots of your by 16 PCI Express and then two um, four ones as well. Right, four or one, one X might be one X, but then these two are reinforced as well. So hopefully it helps a little bit with SAG with how big graphics are these days. Not going to help too much. But then you have your USB 3.2 Gen 2 right here, and then your power, and then you also have an A plus four pin up here for your power. Uh, what's really interesting is the 8 plus 4, you'll notice that is shielded as, as well on just the 8 pin part, if it decides to show you. I'm trying. Come on. There you go, camera. So that's that's interesting. I don't know why they didn't do both, but uh, you also have some more CPU fan, AIO fan all up right here and so then you have your AIO pump and then more RGB so quite a bit of RGB stuff here then let's hop over to this side of the board and you'll see you all your IO here on uh, your IO shield which come on let's focus I believe this has a two and a half gig NIC on there. He won't need 10 gig. He's not. Uh, he was actually looking at the Pro Art board as well, but he doesn't need 10 gig, right? He's right, just playing games. He's not doing any streaming or rendering a video or to local storage or anything like that. So there's no really need. Even you know, gig is fine for him. But he does have Wi-Fi. He probably won't use that. But just in case you need it in a pinch, you never know. You do have uh, one USB Type C, then you have you know your USB port. You do have BIOS flashback and your Display Port and HDMI as well. I like the BIOS flashback. I think all boards, especially on the AMD side, need that, especially where they are upgrading BIOS to new processors through that, which I think is a great little feature. But and then here is the back of the board. 
which is also, I mean, you don't get to see a lot of the back of the board unless maybe they're going to start doing like an acrylic um, motherboard tray with an open back so you can actually see all the designs you get um, on, you know, this board or other boards. Which, you know, I don't mind this back design at all. I think they did a really good job on the etching and stuff on this board. It looks kind of cool, especially if you were to have, I guess, if it was an open case that would show the back, that would be kind of cool. I know my case, even though it's up against the wall, does have a glass panel. But he's using the Meshify 2 Compact, so I get to put this board into there. A lot of I.O., though on this board I really like how they kind of set this up you know it's just two M.2 slots as well nothing mounted on the back I think this is going to be a really fun board to build in really good one for the 5900X I really like that they do not have the fan on here I know they seem to last long however they do die over time I, I have uh, my brother yeah, right he has an older board with a fan on the chipset, which happened to die over the weekend. Now, it is an older board. It's an X79. However, it's annoying when they go, right? So, he's not doing a ton of I.O. I just told him to unplug it. But, I'm glad that they've gone to the X570S models here and got rid of it. I think it's a huge improvement here. But, let me know what questions you have with this board at all. I'll be putting this computer together here in a little bit. And... Uh, maybe later this week maybe early next week sometime and that video then will come to you guys here but I'll also do a motherboard walkthrough of the bios so you guys can walk through to see how what they all have enabled and I believe that they already have support for Windows 11 so that's something you'll get to see as well so with that let me know if you have any questions on this board any comments you have or anything you'd like to know I'll be sure to get that to you and until next time God bless, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.